You've, you've slept in some bizarre places. You just showed me a picture of where you were sleeping on the Strip in Vegas. I slept. I spent one like, night on the Strip after... <laughs> yeah, because when I go into a city, I want to be around people. I go to yeah. a nightclub, I drink right. a bunch of beers and go dancing, and, and then, then I stumble out at 3 in the morning, and I'm like, I've got my backpack and my knife and my, you know, things I don't want to be found when I uh, go, have to go in through the metal detectors to get into a nightclub. I stash right. that in my bags in, like, a little blind spot where no one's going to find them and then uh, go out, grab my bags, and then hide in the same kind of place, like just dead space, you know, where someone is looking directly at something, so they see that, but they don't see what's just next to it in the shadow. Yeah, like a lit sign, yeah. and behind it, there's a little shrub and bushes that, you can get in. Yeah, yeah. so I stayed yeah. there a lot. Sleeping on the ground in around people is not very safe, generally, and sometimes I snore. So oh. that's really bad. <laughs> a snoring ninja. It's a <laughs> fucking liability. I'm ninja, telling dude, you. That's I'm hilarious. You. So I that should, on, that should be the name of your blog. The Talk snoring ninja? By God. the way, for people who, who don't know, the blog is called The Adventures of Justin. No, Adventures of Justin. Adventures yeah. of Justin. But yeah. I think the snoring ninja is where it's at. <laughs> that's. that's Perfect. But on the ground is dangerous yeah. because people can just take your shit. Well, and you're or they, yeah, they can kill you. A crazy, meth yeah. out, psycho, homeless person can take your shit and you know step on your face. So, I climb up buildings and sleep on rooftops. That's pretty better. standard. Oh, it's it's great. I've never been found. You just have to be really, really, really careful on entry and exit. Exit not so much because you're getting off. Yeah. But if someone sees you go up there or sees the you moving around, they call the cops and then. Yeah, because yeah, it's going to be a problem. Like a thief. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Although, if you're lying out in your sleeping bag, if the cops aren't assholes, they'll right. give it a benefit. But they'll probably the search me, and I don't want to be searched by cops. Right, right. I was hitchhiking one time, and uh, I don't remember. I think I, I think I got a ride from a truck driver, and he pulled over to sleep in a rest stop. And I went off, and he was going to, you know, we were continue when he woke up. And I went off and you know, pulled into some bushes somewhere off uh, near the rest stop. And I woke up with this, like, water. I, I thought it was raining. Mm -hmm. And I woke up because there's water splashing on my face. And it was someone taking a piss. They had just walked off into the bushes to take a piss, and they didn't see me there. Wow. <laughs> and they are pissing on a rock near my <laughs> head, and it was splashing on my face. That's pretty ninja, to be honest. I got pissed <laughs> oh, on before, sneaking up on parties in the woods. That's like, that's uh, like a really? major coup. If someone comes up and Right. Rips it out and pisses on you. That means you're really invisible. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's <laughs> it's a good spot. 